everybody, welcome back. In this lesson, what I'd like to do is show you how to fine tune the fit of the shoulder sleeve neckline if you need to adjust it. And it's interesting because this, this is the top I'm working on in the class. And you can see that this arm looks very nice. And this arm is baggy. It's got a lot of extra fabric. Um, you know, I'm playing around with the sizes and playing around with different types of knit to see how it acts. And I went up a size um, in the pattern because this knit has barely 10% stretch. So I wanted to see what would happen if I went up a size and worked with a knit that had less stretch and is more stable too. It's, a, it's sort of a lightweight double knit. Um, it's very stable. It's not as stretchy and form-fitting. And what ended up happening was I ended up with too much fabric under my sleeve in, in my armhole, which made all of these wrinkles. You know, I just want to show you. Okay. And then um, what I did was I took it in. And what I'm going to explain to you um, is how to take it in. Because you can see this sleeve fits much nicer. So I don't want anyone to panic if they put their top on and it doesn't look fabulous around the armhole. It's very easy to adjust if it's too loose. If this was a soft, flowy, lightweight knit, this sleeve may look completely fine. So my point is, depending on the kind of knit you're doing, using, um, you may need to take this in. I just wanted to give you sort of a, you know, a preview of how the shirt is fitting me. I'll stand up so you can see. You know, I think I like the way the bottom fits. I just have to work with taking out this extra and having it look more like this. All right, let's look at the um, inside of the shirt, and I'm gonna to explain to you how to take it in to fix the um, sleeve, armhole, and neckline if it's too loose on you. So you can see on this side, this is the side I fixed. I left the dangle here so you could see. First, I sewed from here, and I gradually came in till I was cutting off about three quarters of an inch and then back down to nothing here. I blended back to zero here. Um, and then I tried it on and it was still too loose and I realized I needed to get rid of some of this fabric as well in here. So what I did was I started halfway on my um, seam here and I blended out until I was taking out another probably half an inch. And then I finished in the back See, I stopped sort of mid um, seam right there. All right, so how you can fine tune the fit on the, the shirt you're working on is to put it on inside out and look and see if you can see where it looks like it's too loose. And if it's obviously loose under the arm or in front of the shoulder, that'll tell you where to start. So pick the area that looks like it's the most loose on you. So let's say it's the underarm and side seam. What you need to do is just pin in, starting at the elbow, pin into the um, underarm and back down and carefully try it on and see if that fixes it. If it does and everything looks great, then that's how you're gonna adjust your shirt. If it's still loose in the front of your shoulder, then you can also pin in this armhole sleeve cap seam as well. You don't need to go all the way under. You can pin it just to where you can see it. Um, and if that's fixing it, then you know you're going to scoop all the way through to the back. So that's how you're going to figure out where you need to take your top in if you need to. Now let me show you my shirt. All right, so I'm going to start by taking my side and under seam, underarm seam in. And I know based on how I fit the other side, I'm gonna take off three quarters here. Okay, so I've marked my goal right there. And basically I'm just gonna come down until I very gradually blend back in to my original side seam. Okay. Okay. 
Then I'm going to do the same thing on the underarm. I'm just going to take it in and carefully, I mean gradually blend it back to the original like that. All right, now I'm going to serge this right off. So let me show you how to do that. Let me show you how to do this the neatest way possible when you're going to start and stop on an, a seam that's already sewn. I'm going to lift my presser foot and I'm going to put the seam so it's butted up against the knife um, right under the needles where I started drawing my line to sort of veer into the garment. And it's nice and straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gradually start surging and cutting off so I'm getting to this line. Okay, all right, so you can see I'm like surging, I'm cutting off where I drew my line. And I'm just gonna go right through the um, intersection of the armhole and the um, seams. And I'm gonna gradually blend back to my original edge. All right, when the knife cuts off the, um, the extra that I had been trimming, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my knife down. So I'm gonna lock it in the down position so it doesn't cut anymore. I'm gonna overlap my seam about an inch. Then I'm gonna make sure my needles are in the up position. I'm gonna lift the presser foot, slide the fabric back so it's not under the needle anymore put the presser foot back down and surge off. And you can see what that does is it makes a really neat transition. So it's not like I'm just surging off the edge of the fabric on a diagonal. So it's barely noticeable that I even did that. All right, so that's how I neatly transition off on and off a seam that's already there. Okay, so now I've taken off the extra fabric under my arm and on the side seam. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick this up like this, and I'm gonna pinch it together. Okay, so it's like this. And I'm just gonna put two pins there to hold it in place. Like this. Okay. Now this works really nicely if you have to take off more than a half an inch. If you're barely cutting off any, you do need to take the stitching out to make a neat transition and you know, take it off of the armhole and then sew it back together. You know, I'm gonna take off a generous half inch to there. I know that that will be okay, that'll end up being okay. It's far enough away from the original intersection that it won't cause a problem. You know, and essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a little bit above my notch so I can blend into that, like that. And then I'm gonna blend back out on the other side. So I'm basically scooping out the bottom of my armhole to make it snugger. Okay, all right, so now let me show you how to do that. Okay, again, I'm gonna start at one end of where I'm adjusting and get it lined up right with the needle. If you locked your knife in the down position, make sure you pop it back up before you start stitching. Make sure that nothing is getting caught underneath. Okay, look under there and make sure everything is laying nice and neat under there as well so you don't create a problem as you're taking this off. Okay, and again, when I get to where I just cut off the last little bit, I'm gonna put my knife down. 
and I'm just gonna overlap my, my seam about an inch. Then I'm gonna lift this up, wiggle it off. All right, so you can see here, my intersection was not at all traumatized. Oh. Okay, it looks fine. Let me put the top on to show you how we did. All right, so I have the top back on and you can see that the armholes are both much nicer now. So taking it in in those two directions really helped the fit of my top. The other thing that's gonna help give it a little bit more shape through the armhole is when we put the neck band on because right now the neckline is just open and it's hanging down um, off my shoulders because there's nothing holding it in place. So I'm gonna take off this top and I'm gonna show you how to do a really easy neckline finish.